Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making this only using a couple of modifiers and that includes simple deform modifier. And right ahead, I'm just going to read the camera and the lamp. And I'm just going to scale this down in Z axis. And I just want this to be exactly 0.1 meter. So I'm just going to move this up in Z axis and scale this in Y axis. And I'm just going to hold the control button so that just snaps into place I think that's exactly 0.1 meter and now you can see our pivot point is at center and I just want that pivot point to be at the very top bottom so to bring that down I'm just going to edit mode and move the geometry about as you can see now the pivot point is at the pillow and once you've done that, we just uh, just going to add a modifier called array and set the x factor to zero and to z factor to 0 0.304 so that you get the slightly bit of gap over here. And I'm just going to set the count to submit. And now we will add modifier called simple deform. Set the axis to z and resistance increase so that you get this swirly thing and again we'll add simple deform modifier but this time we'll set it to bend and if this happens to you just delete the modifier and select the blur tile and press ctrl a and select all transforms now when you add simple deform modifier again set the bend it just behaves properly and I'm just going to set the angle to uh, 358 okay. so that you have a same gap as this one set it to 360 is just going to uh, join together as you can see there's no gap in between so I'm just I just like to keep it to 359 and now this swirly thing is done now we have to do the shell and to the shell, to the to do the shell, we're just going to add a icosphere and just uh, before we add a icosphere, I just want to center this. So I'm just going to move this in y axis. Center is this gap is in the center. I'm just going to move this up so that it lies on the green line. And now I will add a icosphere. And I'm going to bring the psychosphere to the middle as well. And I'm just going to uh, scale the psychosphere so that it just uh, it fits properly with the you know swirly thing. And I'm just going to subdivide this five times and set the smoothness to one. Now go to face select mode by tapping three or just select this over here and select one of the face. And hold on control and press plus on your keypad. As I'm pressing plus, you see our vertices is, is getting selected. Now select the half of the icosphere and delete the vertices so that you get something like this. Now let's just go back to object mode and we'll add a modifier called solid and we'll just increase the thickness. Uh, quite a bit and I'm going to add a bevel modifier to make the edges smooth now we achieve the uh, shell now it's just a matter of adding a light source and adding material so I'm just going to create the uh, background and the you know, flow let's just go to edit mode line select and I should be last time now for the material is just go to render mode and set the render engine as size now i'm just going to use a play for the light source so i'm just going to move this up and scale this in uh, y axis and go to material properties click on new and set the surface to 
emission so that it becomes a light and set the value to 5 a strength to 5 now I just want to rotate the shell and the square thing which for the materials I'm this is gonna be a simple materials for the shell I just going to keep it to light blue so just set the color to light blue but you can set it to whatever you want and I'm just going to increase the roughness a little bit to the C point seven. And I'm just going to let the spiral thingy be a white, but I'm just going to edit mode and press three on the keyboard to go to front select, base select, and select this vertex to opposite sides. Just going to add another material and assign. So this is gonna be a little bit bluish. It kind of looks like a gradient texture. And I'm just going to decrease the strength of the color. And as you can see, it's a little bit bluish and white. And white and blue goes back. So yeah. And I'm just going to add a, another light source in the middle. So I'm just going to add a UV sphere. Let's just move this up. I'll just scale this down. So I'm just going to place this sphere in the right in the middle. And select for new. And set the material to emission. And this machine emission going to be a two. And set the color to blue. And to make the sphere invisible, I'm just going to object uh, properties and expand visibility. Then check camera and shadow. So now the sphere is invisible, but the light source is present. So that's it. Now we are it's just a matter of adding the camera. So shift A or camera. Or press Ctrl Alt at zero on your keyboard. And just place the camera so that looks kind of good and I'm just going to scale this um, background that's it thanks for watching guys